Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Gaming Library. I'm your librarian for the evening, Bruno Fightmaster, and we're back with some more Puppeteer. Let's get back into it. So, we are still in Act 1. Um, last time, we got introduced to Kutaro, uh, who was a... Kutaro had spied an old shield in the prison tower, but Tiger was hot on his heels. Where were the knight's powers? Who was this princess that had been locked up? And would Kutaro make it out of the Black Castle alive? See, I don't even have to say what happened last time. I can just pick up right where we left off. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. Now back to Kutaro's tale. Uh, but yeah, Kutaro was a small child there on Earth and was stolen and by a Moonbear King. That even after the Moon Goddess was defeated and her legion was put to rout, her loyal subjects tried to resist. Four champions, ever faithful, rose to their mistress's calls. Over a period of weeks, they concocted an elaborate plan to lead a pathetically small but equally valiant army against the Moonbear King's castle, Grizzlestein. Did it work? Well... Yeah, I think we're just gonna let the game speak for itself most of the time. It's easy to do so. Onward, he names. The bear shall pay the price for his crimes. They were hopelessly outnumbered, but so desperately did they fight, so bravely did they broil, that the tyrant himself finally deigned to confront them. You fight well, dare I say, skillfully, but alas, <laughs> that shield will not protect you from me! Coward! And that was the end of that revolt. The Moonbear King used his dark magic to lock the four champions' powers away, and all would-be challenges to his throne were wiped from the face of the moon. Oh, that's sad. The first and last attempt. This shield was a special one indeed. I'm gonna pause for just a second. Cause I wanna see if there is a way. Can we put on uh we can put music settings down. Is there a way to put on subtitles? Thank you. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, anyway, let's go back. For within it still dwell the power of the moon goddess's knight, he whose valiant struggles ended in tragedy. Alas, there we go. knight, I knew him, Kutaro. This flashy shield of his got him farther than most, but when you're pitted against a king, eh, fear got the better of him, and you're looking at the rest of him. These scratches, courtesy of the Moon Bear King. Just look what's be oops, sorry, couldn't keep my paws off. <laughs> Let's cut the shield out. Do I get to steal the shield? Uh no, but it does turn to a head. At last, Kutaro had claimed the knight's power. That was difficult. All right. Oh, very good. Next up, Luna Big Pot. Okay, shortbread mouse, shut and ears open. That's my clever boy. Remember, you can fend off nearly any attack, great or small, just as long as you don't get smooshed in the process. Do the work. Now bend this sucker off. Oh, uh Okay. <laughs> there. You see? Some attacks can be turned against the attacker. Oh. Next, try pointing the shield upward. Hmm, okay. Good. Now point the shield down. Uh, all right. 
Moving on, Luna Bitpart. <laughs> the best defense is someone else's offense. And the night shield, as it happens, was specially designed to deflect beams of magic mm -hmm. light. Which is lucky for you, because here comes a doozy! Bounces at that grub! I will do my best. Yeah. Ah. Alright. Kerplowy indeed. Before her magic fizzles out. I suppose so. I didn't realize her magic would fizzle out so uh, quickly. Sadly, not all the castle's puppets were having the same luck as Kutaro. Winken, Blinken, and Nod here tried to make a break for it. And got broken for their trouble. Mm. The Moonbear King's overblown guillotine was waiting to reduce all such traitors to scrap. Mm -hmm. Stay on your toes if you want to keep them. Oh, hello. Looks like you need a head to get ahead. No defense is perfect. You'll find a weakness if you keep your eyes peeled. Uh. There we go. Hooray. Oh, an eye for an eye. oh, and I get a guillotine head. Interesting. Alright, cool. Oh, easy enough. Climb on up, Hutaro. Colored in eclipsed, the shimmering gateway has been swiped. Mm-hmm. Oh, meow, I remember. The king's brand new security system yep. was installed here last week. Okay. One. That's good. There we go. Layers two. Come on, right here. Hit me. I do it. <laughs> Jokes on you. I had shields. Another. Oh, it's just a bat. Additional bat head. So apparently I can come back and get other stuff if I have other heads unlocked. Because I don't think I've even seen a lock head there. Or a kid head, I guess, from the last one. So, okay, cool. Let's go back to guillotine head, because I find that hilariously terrifying. And to the next, the next scene. Here, the shimmering gateway abruptly ended. Kutaro could not stave off a sinking feeling that things were about no, to get No, just put, put you in front of the eye. You can't see me. There you are, you vexatious thief. Okay. Oh, da, 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 da. Yes. Beat up all these little ghoulies. Ah. Help me my no, bad. Magic is pouring out of cabinets. Okay. Now. Um, all right. Flaming scissors. You know, Tiger, I think we're probably going to have words later. It'll be fine. Well, we've reached the top of the prison towers. Oh, uh, oh, oh, that's, I don't like that. Oh, that's right. The princess is being held here. Give me back Gacy head. Thank you. I can't get a big crystal, but that's fine. Watch out for the Okay. 
over some things here. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Eat that. Yeah, okay. I want the head. Maybe you want the head. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take another spider head. Come on up here. Was it the night's soul within the shield, or something else daring? A fire filled Kutaro's heart, and he knew it was his duty to save the princess. Hmm, just what is it about damsels? Alright, cool. Hooray! A whole bunch of little moon pod things. I forget what these are called. Alright. Oops. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna bypass you here real quick because we need to recharge. Yeah. Eat it, plant. King Crown. I'll take that. Nope, 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 nope. This way, this way. Are you my knight in shining armor? Yes. Get me out of here! Now! I'm working on it. Wait, that's not the sun princess. She's not even a lady. You're just being At best, she's a lady in waiting. Kutaro was disheartened. But his sense of chivalry would not let him leave the lady behind. Oh my god! Get me out I'm working here! on it. I wish she was a princess. I could really go for my own kingdom. No, 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 no. Give me that head. A hero never leaves a <coughs> lady behind. Chop, chop! Come on! Okay. Got it. Alright. <gasps> snip, 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 snip. Guess I didn't give you enough credit. You're like a hero or something, right? Or something. Questing to save the princess? Why else would you have Calibras and the Moon Knight's shield? Well, you're about three feet too short and three hours too late. But thanks. Like, seriously. Hmm. You're welcome. Except you're probably about to be captured again. Oh, hello, cat. You're a little too close. Can you back off a little bit? Thanks. Oh. Well. Isn't that unfortunate? Um. Huh. Hello, tiger. See that fang tiger is flashing? That's a piece of the moon stone. I bet it. that bit of dental work, he'd be a scaredy cat and no better. Ooh. Good thing my paws don't touch the ground. <laughs> you better try to get some air. <laughs> okay. Yep, I know. There we go. Okay. Today keeps the dentist away. Does it though? Quick time events then. Noted. 
Oh, you, you. I don't like anything about that. Who's cowering? Just waiting for you to do your attack so I can actually like hit you. Okay. And avoid that. Do that. Fiery scissors. Jump on top of you. Actually, wait a minute. I'll do this. Don't mess with me, you punk! Yeah. Get her. Uh. Wait for it. Try this uh, cutscene again. Quick time. Gotta be patient. Patience is a virtue. So, jump. And snip, snip, snip. Alright, let's try this again. So, jump. Then you eat me. And. Yeah. Snip, 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 snip. Wow. Just get rid of all your teeth. Those dental bills are be just... I mean, you know, my dental bills are cheaper. Ugh, like, oh my gosh! That was so totally gross! I'm covered in tiger slobber! Do you have any idea how much I pay already for dry cleaning? <gasps> oh, hey! Thanks for the help. Um, what was your name again? Hey, Kotaro. Kotaro, huh? Yeah. I'm Picarina. On behalf of the sun, let me say thank you. Ooh. Big tiger jam. Don't know what that does. Oh, a new ability. Oh, my word. You found one of the moonstone shards. Yes. Most impressive. I knew I picked a winner. In fact, I think we're ready to team up in earnest. We weren't teamed up before. This little soubrette. What of the Sun Princess's retinue? Where's your mistress? Like, I gotta tell you. It's not like you're anybody special, am I right? Ah! Oh. Easy, guys. Oh, no, it's, not. it's the tyrant! Run for your life! Give me back! Scissors! I'll chase you to the end of the moon! This world belongs to me now! You'll never be safe ever! Gasp. Alright, cool. So. With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. Hooray. Now I believe Act 1 has been completed. Yes, Act 2. And I don't care about the stages. Uh, head collection. Okay, interesting. Cool. And picture book. All right, that, that's enough. Let me continue on, please. Thank you. Uh, we'll select an act. We will do act two. After claiming the knight's power, 
Kutaro vanquished Tiger and escaped the Black Castle with the witch, Yin Yang, and Picarina. Where would fate lead them next? Act two starts here. Thank you, Mr. Announcer Man. Let's get started. Let us continue our adventure. At long last, Kutaro and his new friend Picarina were free of Castle Grizzlestein, born to safety by the witch. Castle Grizzlestein? Our hmm. fugitives needed a safe place to hide, and so they chose Castle Waxwain, the same flying palace from which the moon goddess once ruled. Seems like a safe place. In those better days, the White Castle was resplendent, a sight to behold. Hmm. But the tides of darkness had since dulled its sparkle and loosened the stone of its walls and columns. All right. So what is he? Oh, that's a big door. There, there, sweeties. We'll just hide out here for a spell. But, like, this is Castle Waxwain. Doesn't it belong to... The goddess? Yes, indeed. Although palace and master alike seem to have come apart at the seams. Silence, Ying Yang! No one asked for your opinion! Out of the darkness and into the light, Kutaro had gone from Black Castle to White. No, oh, this is more like it. No mm -hmm. bear king spies and lackeys to follow our every move. Uh-huh. You've got a lot of gumption, you know that? Only one Heine should be warming that throne, and it doesn't have warts on it. <laughs> the moon goddess is gone, Dandelion! I'm uh... sure the palace is delighted to have such a promising... Would you stop throwing stuff at me, please? Promising? Try pompous? Try shutting up! Easy, Picarina. Oh, my little earth and savior. You're nothing short of a hero. Come, be a good child and let me have a gander at that moonstone shard. Don't do it, Kataro. Calibris, the moonstone, and the palace all belong to the goddess. And this magic slinging loony is obviously trying to dupe you out of that. Hmm. I don't know about that. Such a thing. All I want is what's best for Bob. What's his name? <laughs> Whatever. Granny's trying to explain, so knock it off! Ow! Oh my gosh! What a witch! The moon yeah, you are. king kidnapped Kotaro so while he was sleeping. He does that to Earth, children. And that's where the moonstone comes in. The source of all moonlight. After mm -hmm. the shattered the stone, he gave the pieces to his generals. And you see how they shine. That's just one shot. Imagine the power I would have if you collected them all. <sighs> Could easily spirit could go back home to her. Really mean it? It's in your best interest too, my sweet. Didn't you say the Sun Princess was searching for the Moon Goddess? Yeah. Why? The mm -hmm. Moonstone is a symbol of the Goddess's power. Restore the stone, restore the Goddess. This could be your big chance. <laughs> Uh, you mean your big chance? You should start Madam. in the moonwood. General Rat has another moonstone shard, and you're going to get it back. I still don't trust you. You're using Kataro, and I am so going to prove it. You'll have to catch him first. Oops. Hey, Kataro! <laughs> wow. Uh, and remember, Rude. You can tell a rat if you smell a rat. Go get him! Thanks, I think. Well, Kutaro had taken the Moon Witch Plunge, and now he found himself in a secluded grove in the Moonwood. That hag is such a... Ugh. How are we going to find one lousy rodent in a place this big? We'll find some way. It'll be just fine. Woodland creature after the other. See? What's going on? A splash of purple later, and the quiet, unassuming grove 
had transformed into a gloomy, reeking landscape of evil, dark horribleness. Okay. Once Run quickly. The moonwood, and oh. offer it to the moonbear king as a tribute, That's fine. I will be uneasily street. <laughs> Yeah, okay. And then run. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 Oh, okay. Nope, my timing's fine. Excellent. Now, bamboo generally tend to be upright citizens. Snip, 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 snip. Alright. Picarina, thank you. Have you heard this one? Once upon a time, there was a lineage of radiant moon princesses who began their lives as tiny babies inside bamboo stalks. But then, one of the princesses' souls had a little mishap and wound up in a bamboo stalk on Earth by accident. Mm -hmm. Sort of the opposite of young Kutaro here. Forget about Kutaro. How can you bring up radiant princesses and not mention me? Do your job, please. Man, no love from the narrator. How dare you question your narrator? I'm omniscient. If you know everything, then you know who I am. Or wait, are you saving that for surprise? Whatever. So what happened to the bamboo babe who got stranded on Earth? Things worked out, of course, as they do in all modern sanitized fairy tales. The princess made it home to the moon and lived happily ever after. Well, good. Dreamer, and is that a panda? It's playing with the bamboo. That's so adorable. And it's probably about to be. Oop, oop, okay, yep. Hey, look, bamboo shoot. Oh, oops, the bamboo. Whoa, look at that thing grow. Oops. Um, uh, I don't think I can save that soul. That's unfortunate. Oops. Okay. That was lucky. Alright, so now do this. Another Koinabori! This one's red. Koinabori are an old there we go. representing the car snip, snip, snip. as he swims his way up the waterfall to become a dragon. They're symbols of growing up healthy and Can strong. you grab these? I know that, but who put them up? Oh, let's not get mired in details. Aren't you in a hurry? Sort of, kind of. I would like to know if I could do anything with these, though. It doesn't look like... Yes, I could. There we go. Then... Or it looks like it would let me, but I guess not now. Alright, cool. Well, let's continue on, then. Up, 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 and that's it. Alright, cool. Over here, snip. And snip across all these. So, is this big panda the other fella's mother, or what? You got another ball head. Yeah, right. Should probably trade out the bat, but you know, it's fine. Rats purple goo had already fouled up the moon yeah, pristine there, water so. supply. Wait for you to drop down over. into ferocious demon fish who took none too kindly to trespassers. Hey, you don't suppose the rat is hiding out up river at the top of the waterfall? He probably is. So that would give us a reason to go the way that we're going. Uh, okay, bad head. Wait for you to drop down and float over. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, alright. Snip, 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 snip. To the next screen. Next panel. Next something. Kutaro arrived at a bridge that arched a truly impressive waterfall. Holy cascade! Do we really have to climb this? Eh, thing? probably. Ooh. Uh. Okay. Ooh. Yes, we do. All right. Keep climbing and don't look down. All right. And can we get 
the... I want the soul! Souls. Okay. Souls. Oop, 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 oop. Okay. Just keep sniffing. Alright. Uh oh! Here comes the kahuna! Okay. And back away from you. Oh, okay. Wow! It's almost like pink snow. Is this cold for the streamers? And wait for you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a thing here. What does this do? A golden point of glory? It's huge! Okay. Yes. Hey, wh where are you going? That's what I want to know. Oh, I'm going to a bonus stage. Unlike wild carp, which are a sort of grayish brown, the koi is a domesticated variety prized for its panoply of colors. Right now, Kutaro is hitching a ride on a Yamabuki Gold. But I'm personally much fonder of the tricolored Sanke. Something about those sublimely balanced splotches of red and black upon that fishy white canvas. Oh, it sends me into raptures. That's nice, Jock. But this is a stream. Okay. It's made of polyester. Golden polyester, but it still ain't breathing. Man, way to break the immersion. Oh, get all of them. All right, cool. Actually, we just want to go down this time because I want to get these other ones. Ooh, that was close. Almost got pushed off. All right. Any more? New set of things. Alright, nice. Got everything it looks like. Yes, alright, cool. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Wait for Big Fishy. He's a big old fish. Oh, oh, okay. And gotta go a little faster. Because there's a big old fishy. Check out the cherry tree. Ah! Well. Curse you, rat. Darn that rat! He ruins everything! Can I get on? Nope. Before their very eyes, General Rat charms from the cherry tree into a baleful twist of briars. Hey. Did I say you were allowed to leave? And you get your soul. You need to save your soul. Yeah. Okay. Oop. No. Okay. Oh, ouch. That was painful. Okay. Stick that out, and then we'll get you. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Up, up, up. No! Man. 
Not doing well. Alright. Last head. Okay. Get that. Free the soul. And clip my way up. And... Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm okay. Yay! And brought the cherry tree back to life. Now that Kutaro and Calibrus had excised the darkness, the old cherry tree could go back to his usual agenda. Standing tall, looking blooming right. Excellent. Ooh. And now I have a cherry tree as a head. In the mystical cave behind the waterfall, our hero stumbled upon a strange scroll mm. that could only be important. Probably. How do we get past this magic? Somebody doesn't want us to have that scroll. Well, yeah, I just like I always do, snip around. Ooh, I got a ninja head. And that was how Kuturo acquired the ninja's powers. Like that. Nin, nin. Nin, nin. Ninja! Uh, stop, please. Splendid, Kutaro. Now you have the knight's powers and the needle. Who turned out the lights? Luna Candela! Funny? That usually works. Kutaro, use the ninja's powers to light up the cave. Should the ninja be in, like, darkness, though? Uh, wait, I'm sorry, what? Just throw a bomb in the stupid lantern. I'm getting there, woman. It's still dark. Do it again. Because you say throw bomb, but you didn't tell me that I would be able to, like, throw it Just up. Just a little brighter now. Stop, woman. Finally, we can have some light in. Wait! Now it's too bright! Blast it! <laughs> you can see all my warts! Here, aim for that bomb uh -oh. symbol at your feet. Uh, okay. Alright, one final test. Hit me with a bomb. In. <laughs> Once more, tadpole. In. Gotcha. Probably middle this time, probably guess. Nope. That's fine. In. Good work. I hereby certify you ninja proficient. Thanks. In. Hmm. All right. Squeaked for satisfaction at his handiwork. The hallowed okay. shrine of the forest gods had been transformed, corrupted. Oh, hello. Well, we can't have that now, can we? After him, Kataro. Yes. Yeah. So Kutaro snipped the ghastly lantern down to size and nice. returned the shrine to normal. I love it. Whew. Next heat. Well, probably another one. Yep. Isn't the same thing. Ooh. The Tory gate 
guarding the shrine had been sapped of its power by sorcerer's chain. Well, that's not good. Ah! No! I want my cherry tree. Okay. Well, that's not good. Oh, hello! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, yes. Thank you. Alright, well, we're in a mildly precarious position again, but we will see what we can do. We at least have plenty of lives. Oh, there we go. As if on cue. I get another head. Is there anything else for you to uh, touch base with? Not really. Throw me some more moon things, but I already have so many lives, so that's fine. Just need more heads to use. Kuturo used Calibrus and the ninja's powers to fell his enemies and rekindle the shrine's power one step at a time. Okay. Oops. That one. Lost my head. Hmm, that's sad. Alright, well, we come back. Give me my head back. And let's try this one again. Okay, that's bad. That one. And you just hit that one. That's annoying. Okay, and get that. Hmm, alright. Just gonna have to get over here, wait for it to go down, get back up, and go place the bomb. There we go. Hmm, alright. Just need to be a little more patient. Up, up, and this way. Up, come on. Almost got him. There we go. There we go. Last one? No. Oh, thank you for someone to give me another head. Oh, and they actually gave me a full set of three heads this time. Okay, nice. And another gate. Oh, this is a big one. Into a weaver, Ooh. one of the Moonbear King's faithful servants, who seemed quite intent that Kutaro joined the club. Kutaro, did you see that? Stick a bomb on that glowing Tycho drum. Boom. All right, so you come up. And taking out another weaver. Nice. Nip, 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 nip. And all of the little moon shards. Okay, I can get over to the edge. Because he's gonna what a fight it was. bring all those down here. dodged scalding flames and swinging deaths and left from Tycho to Tycho. There we go. Good. All right. And we snip our way back up through all of these clouds. Because somehow you can snip clouds. I mean, it is a magic pair of scissors, I guess, so there's that. But. Hooray! All right, 
And then again, get back over here. Then be faster. Right. That one. Over there. Over there. Over there. And kaboom. All right, last one probably. So let's sniff our way at these clones again. This game has a great aesthetic. I will give it that. Not much in the sense of challenge. At least not so far. But, man. If it does not have the atmosphere in spades. Oh, come on. Yep. Uh, aww. Here we go again. Make sure you okay. okay. Yes, I... Alright. Well, that was annoying. But, that's fine. Especially because there was one. Okay. There we go. At least you don't make it that difficult for me this time around. And kaboom! Yes. Kutaro. The shrine's weaver had been vanquished, and the souls of the children it held captive returned nice. to us. Drumhead. Fantastic. Calabras! No! My scissors! I don't want to go back to me! Uh. <laughs> I love the bear has a bear. What is going on? Ooh, wow. Uh, this had better be important, or else. They what? Brett is supposed to be guarding that forest. Talk to him. Poor tiger. Yes, he would say that. The buffoon. The tiger. I'm beginning to think the problem with my generals is that I have any! Hmm. hmm. With this week's conspiracy, they steal Calibus, they escape my castle, now they conveniently find the Moonwood. Do you think someone else is pulling the strings? <laughs> right. Keep a close eye on them. I shall take matters into my own claws. <laughs> Never fear, you beautiful brute. You just need to find their ringleader. And then, what you do, you can tear them into tiny and threatening little bats! Ah. That was weird. Put toxic anyway. production on hold. Kutaro has been spotted in the moonwood. Then the rat has failed in his task. Ooh. Say the word, Snake. Sire, and I will strike your enemies down. Very well. Crash the life out of Kutaro, no matter the cost, and you will be well rewarded. The reward is in the crushing. Watch as I devour all that stands in my path. Hmm. And the curtain is drawn on another act. And I think that will be a fantastic place for us to end this episode. Thank you so much for joining me once again here at the Gaming Library. Uh, we'll be back next week with, with some more... Calibus, uh, oh. Yep. Defeated the and saved the souls of a, lucky few. a few, yes. Well done, Kutaro. The souls he freed were homeward bound. Thank you for joining us once again here at the Gaming Library. Uh, if you like this video, do the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, whatever you would like to do. Definitely tell your friends about it, though. I'd love more people to come and join us here at the Gaming Library. And next time, we will pick back up on Act 2. The Moonstone was Kutaro's only ticket home to Earth. 
Newly armed with the ninja's bombacious powers, Kutaro continued to scour the Moonwood in search of the despicable rat. Hmm, despicable indeed. But that'll be for next time, friends. Until then, this is your humble librarian, Bruno Fightmaster, checking out. <laughs>